This is the spill hole of the dam. It was ever only used in 1983 when there was too much water for the dam to handle. You fall in there, you can kiss your life goodbye. We are visiting quite a unique place. This is the Hoover Dam in Arizona, just 40 minutes outside of Las Vegas. And uh, it looks quite impressive. You can see here the water level and that's where the water comes through inside those kind of towers. And here is the wall of the dam where it holds off the rest of the water so it doesn't go over to the other side. The water level of the mountains looks so cool. Look at this. Look at this line. And this is exactly the level that you have before it spills over to the spillage hole. That's so funky. And the Zadam. So this is the other side of the dam. And it looks super cool. So there is some, some sound that we will go investigate. There's probably the water running down there. <laughs> it's so scary, it's crazy. Look at them hanging. It's crazy. Why didn't they put them straight? Why are they hanging? So basically what happens is that the wall of the dam over there is the one that blocks the water from the other side. And what happens is it creates a high difference between the two water sides. So you have the water that's higher level and the water that comes down at a lower level. So the potential energy of the water at the high level, it's transformed into kinetic energy on the way down. And that's how energy is like, electricity is produced out of that. So that's quite cool. Let's go further and look at more. That must be like insane. And that's why people, you don't swim next to a water dam. Here's the water. What happened to you? What did life do to you for you to sit like that, leaning and like begging to fall inside the dam? Why? Why? What kind of privilege did you have to be standing straight? And the rest were like, what? What happened? I need some explanation. Here. So this is the high level side of the dam. You see that there is quite some water here. And uh, these are the intake towers. So basically the water is like running through them and it goes down and then it ends up in the other side where I showed. It's quite pretty. You can spit inside and it takes a while for the spit to reach the water. You wanna try? Let's try. Ah, it's gonna hit the wall. No, it's gonna hit the water. Can hit the water? Let's go, floating! Did you hear that? Oh. Look at this cool map. So the dam that we see here, this side of it is Arizona and that side is Nevada. So it's like literally splitting the two states. It's so cool. Look at that. Now we're in Arizona and we walk there. So we are driving on top of the dam and now we are at the Arizona side. We are going to look at it from the bridge. We are going to take some pictures there and videos for you as well. Look at that. Arizona. Driving over the dam. It's pretty. Who designed this? It's kind of cute. Me like it. I like how people come to visit the dam. The dam must feel so cute. It's like the people come and visit me. I look pretty. Are you ready? We're going to Nevada now. 
oh, the one tower said Arizona time and the other tower says the bar that stop uh, do they have a time difference? That's ridiculous. Do they have a time difference? That's ridiculous. We are in Nevada now. The clock has shifted one hour. That's amazing. If we just go between the two places and like change time all the time. Look at this pretty bridge. It's a pretty statue. Bridge. Look at this beauty. So the high level, the dam and the low level of the water coming here. And as I said, this is Nevada and this is Arizona. And they also have a time difference, which is quite adorable actually. Look at this. So we are on the bridge, we can walk along the bridge and look at it as well. And we came here at quite the perfect time because it's sunset and it looks stunning. We have passed Nevada, we are in Arizona and I like US's mix up of renewable energy, sustainable sources, go US in that sense, having nuclear power, having the windmills at the back there. We saw a huge, huge solar farm on the way to the Hoover Dam and then we have the dam. So it's actually quite cute. We're only missing a, a power plant to see now. And uh, then we have completed the whole energy mix. But at least you have the nuclear physicists here, so you know, it's fine. I, I make up for the nuclear power. This is the Hoover Dam, people. On the back it's side. a two gigawatt hydropower dam which is basically the equivalent of two nuclear reactors very cool very pretty very scenic very mindful you can drive on it and walk on it we will be walking on it